Truth is the seventh parami, satcha in Pali. And of course, this is supremely important. Nothing really can be accomplished without this. And what we have, the introduction of Dhamma into the world, is the Four Noble Truths. So what is embodied in the Four Noble Truths is really what is meant by satcha. Different truths have different values. In the modern world, truth has to do with science or scientific truth, where you attempt to establish it, objective truth about the the external world. The Buddha is not preoccupied with that kind of truth. He is interested in the truth of suffering. So that's a weird phrase in itself, the truth of suffering. Suffering is a fact in human existence and in the existence of sentient beings as well. So he wants you to focus on that truth. Now, other truths like how far it is to Chicago from Minnesota, these are relative truths. He would advise that one would attempt to be truthful in these things to say how much something weighs, how far something is. But of course, these things are, uh, mistakes can be easily made about these things. And even if we eventually could find out all of the scientific facts about the world, we would still not have solved the ultimate problem, which is why do humans suffer? So this is the preoccupation of Buddhist philosophy. It is what is the most important truth that Truth of suffering is the most important truth. Scientific truths are far below that. Scientific truths or the amassing of scientific truths cannot achieve the resolution of human suffering. So that is the truth we are exploring. The truth that is expressed by the Buddha is around this realization, the truth that we tell ourselves about the nature of reality. Do we tell ourselves that reality is impermanent, insubstantial, and unsatisfactory? Or from time to time, do we forget that and tell ourselves a lie, that something will last, some sort of beautiful situation will last, and that will bring us happiness, and that it has substance, that it will endure through time. So this is where we fabricate and misrepresent the truth to ourselves. And this is where the core issue of, of truth is for the Buddha. He says, you must learn to tell yourself the facts. And when you don't, you will be deluded. But the facts will not go away. They will catch up to you and can be shattering. And then the emotional distress which follows this, failure to be truthful about things, is the consequence, the suffering that follows. So this is the nature of this parami, to cultivate this genuine inquiry into the truth of why a human suffers. And any other direction of this is more or less a uh, misdirection of your energies. So in the cultivation of, of the paramis, this must be developed and is the basis for the arriving at enlightenment. And without it, we cannot arrive at enlightenment. This will be mm, supported by the other paramis, especially wisdom. Wisdom and truth are really inseparable. You cannot be said to be wise and yet not recognize the truth. To recognize the truth is to be wise, and to be wise is to recognize the truth. So they're aspects of each other. 
So this is the, the cultivation and development of these, and wisdom is more or less the investigation of truth and until it becomes second nature and embodied in oneself. One no longer misrepresents reality to oneself. One no longer falls back into mistaken ideas, and that is to have attained one or, or, or many of the stages of enlightenment. The final stage of enlightenment is the full realization of the Four Noble Truths, the full accomplishment of the Four Noble Truths, the full liberation which follows from the Four Noble Truths. And so this is the perfection of satcha, or truth.